G'day, it's Tracy here. Now in the Facebook group there was some discussion on a new application called Connect Leads and um, I thought I'd just do a little video walkthrough. I haven't had a big play with it but I thought just people like might you know be a bit more informed on the software. Now the reason I bought the software or one of the reasons I bought the software was that I actually have had experience with the developer and that I had purchased um, a couple of years ago an application that he created called ZoSocial, which connected, um, which created um, an automated lead collection from um, timeline competitions, which I'd pr I've probably run maybe. Uh, 30 com timeline competitions for various clients of mine and um, the lead capture option of that was very valuable um, and that it was a timeline and the software worked really well the support was good so I was fairly confident um, when I saw this product that he'd created um, and putting my money down now I've got 30 I think I've got 30 days anyway so if it doesn't act like I would hope um, and it doesn't save me time which really you know saves me money um, because the quicker I can do things the, the more work I can do for other people um, and get paid for it now the problem with lead Facebook lead gen ads is that Facebook only does half the half the job it collects the leads and then you have to hop in the back end here and export the leads. The problem with that is, is if a client or prospect leaves their email address for a lead magnet they want that email in their inbox fairly quickly um, and as a social media manager I, it would be my responsibility to log in, download the lead list and import it into the auto um, autoresponder and send off the broadcast emails and that all adds up you know it might be 10 15 20 minutes but if we were running a fairly big campaign for a client you know I might have to do that a couple of times a day and I could see that the time would start to add up so um, I thought I'd just give you a walkthrough of the software so that you're informed um, I'm no way connected um, to this this um, developer, um, I've just known that I've I've used his um, one of his other applications before, and he seems like the real deal. So, um, when you um, sign in, you just connect your Facebook page, and then you start to connect your older responders. And a couple of things I was really impressed with with was the list of auto responders that it automatically out of the box connects with. So you don't have to do any um, form creation or anything like that. It's it's really really simple, and I'll just move that up so you can see the full list. So this is the current full list of autoresponders that it connects to straight out of the box. Now, a couple of things that I noticed, um, which kind of was like exciting, was this go to webinar one, and also the web webinar jam. I have web jam, webinar jam myself. Um, but I have a number of clients who have got GoToWebinar so that automatically um, creating or putting them into a webinar funnel um, f directly from here was actually quite exciting. The other thing that I liked too was this HTML submit form so if your autoresponder isn't on this list you've always got this option here to embed either a HTML or an iframe. Now I haven't done it myself so I'm not um, I don't know how hard or, or whatever it is but it can't be any harder than putting a form on your WordPress website I wouldn't think. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to know was because I'm using this software for clients if I could actually um, uh, connect more than one of you know say MailChimp so I've got two clients here connected to, the, to different MailChimp accounts so just because you have one MailChimp connected, it doesn't have to doesn't mean that all the autoresponders have to go through that one account. This is a totally different MailChimp account for a different client. Um, so I was satisfied then when I could do that. That yep, yeah, this is going to work for my business because I'll be able to connect different clients even if they're using the same um, autoresponder. 
um, and yeah so that that's about as far as I've got um, to uh, to testing it um, and I have noticed that the content streams the lead streams through to MailChimp and the, and the test that I've done but I'll do um, more testing before the um, before the 30 day trial period uh, runs out um, so if you've got any questions um, about it and you think you know just by me having a look in here I might be able to answer it um, I'd be happy to do that so um, thanks bye